Good evening and welcome to tonight's episode. Good evening, uh, Andy and Amanda. How are you tonight? Hairless. I've had my hair cut for the first time in four months tonight. Yeah, it's completely bald now. Yeah, I've lost that. I've had, I literally cleaned this morning. My hair was that long in the back of my neck. It was starting to curl. And I'm like, and I've gone there today and they've completely <laughs> blitzed my hair and it feels absolutely strange as anything. So, <laughs> and how are you today, otherwise? Are you okay? Yeah, I might have to go to Supercut, but um, the only thing is you have to. You have to sit in the queue to to to, to get your hair cut because oh. there isn't an appointment yeah. in advance. So, so. Some of them are weird because yeah. um, I walked around to the local hairdressers up my, my our way on Saturday, and some of them will do normal drop-ins, but and then what I saw when I in there, they weren't any. They're almost like they were. Some this was bizarre about people. I didn't tell you about this one day. There's two hairdressers they meet that had like no had no no social distancing on. No it's gloves on, no mask or anything else carrying on as normal round round out the work. But the one I went with today, it cost a bit more, but they had a full plastic mask on and gloves and everything. I thought I thought really safe, comfortable in there. But this is strange things. And there's another hairdresser that opened up near us, Colleen. Opened up today. I walked past it before. And I don't know what they were doing to get people in, but I counted twelve people to that side. So it's strange times at the moment, so Strange, strange times. What was London like over the weekend, Clean? Was it really busy, was it? Too Where? busy. <clears throat> I think we're going to go into a spike again because the streets were really, really crowded. Not too crowded, but quite crowded enough to know that, that there's too many people on the streets. And then the buses had to turn turn passengers away because they had a full capacity. Oh, right. They're not allowed to have more than 20 on the bus, and they will say... They will go on the speaker and say, you're not allowed in on the bus. Or they'll have the full sign, full bus sign in on the window. Oh, yikes. Right. Blimey. Now, um, I've, I've heard mixed things about it up around here. Because the, what, the only buses that we've seen that are around here to clean, down to where we are, live and meet them. We've, we've seen this one bit. Always seen about three or four people on the bus at once, but it's not been that busy around here. No, it's not been the buses that are the problem. It's when the pubs open, there's been yeah. pictures gone online. Yeah. And there's been like... Lots of people out spilling out the pubs in the streets, like draped all over each other. Yeah. Definitely not anything close to social distancing. Yeah, that's what Manchester was like Saturday after Saturday evening, just gone central. If you hear a clipping sound, it's my it's my paper. You know, I've got some like paper because oh, it's great. really hot. Go ahead, yeah, it's, quite, it's quite warm in here today, so as well. But no, yeah, it's like... you can't use a fan. A fan doesn't. A fan's either too cold or doesn't is too um too slow. So. It's really strange. You can't use a fan either, unless you get, you know, you get one that's really expensive, which I can't afford. So yeah, I just use well. paper. So go if you hear clipping sound, it's my, pa- it's my paper. Don't worry about it, guys. Because the thing is, we get on our side is, and um, we did some recording a couple of days ago, and I couldn't use it. Where let's just trouble your fan. We had a fan blowing in the background. It distorts all the sound, so you've got to be very, very careful when you do it. Sometimes, so it's just up to. Crackers in the word, yeah. But um, we had one day clean on Saturday. I, I walked over, checked the address down to about half three, four o'clock on Saturday last weekend, just gone. And um, I must have counted two different lots of police going to the local pubs already and dragging people out. I'd got in there at 11 o'clock in the morning, we're fighting already after four or five hours. And I was hearing on Sunday yesterday that there was a big fight in one of the big restaurants out there as well. Because people, people were just going crazy because it's been like, it's, it's strange times because when people have been like penned up for three months, they just want to get out. And one of my, one of my best mates, um, he was telling me, uh, I'm not going to name him because he knows who he is, he, he had five to five pints on the local around the corner of where he was. And what the land they, they did around there was, and that's what they're only prepared to do now for the next month or two, it's only served regulars prior to lockdown. I let about only let ten or fifteen in a minute once. That's why. So it's keeping it really quiet. Yeah. Can they not uh, sell it as takeaway? Yes, they were doing that apparently as well, and they are about two takeaways, but it's probably in the remains, Yeah. I think there's been a lot of pubs that are serving a few more people than that. Though. Yeah. There's been a few there. They've been absolutely. It's just not been managing at all. It's been crazy. But then you get the other case coming where. Um, is one of our friends works in one of the big clothing stores in Manchester Arndale. And you know how I'm at here, Amanda, don't you? And what did he tell us last time we saw him? He said, well, the changing rooms are closed, so people are getting changed in the middle of the shop. But I think he was just trying to get people into the shop. 
He didn't say whether it was men or women, but it was probably women, so he was probably just trying to get more men to go into the shop to see. <laughs> probably no one, no one them, yeah. <laughs> or more women, to women because he's single. So, what you do is you were at the moment. It was just in very, very strange times at the moment, Colleen, because um, my works tried to get me. I've tried to get a number of people from our office, which is in Salford, but I could buy us out of Central Manchester to go and work in Central Manchester briefly because of lack of space. And I got asked a couple of days ago, would I go and work in Central Manchester? And I got to, I thought instantly, no way, because it's just too busy. You don't feel safe, do you? So are you going to, is, is that, so you have to like work at home? Is that what, what the choice is? You either work um, in Central Manchester or you work at home? I know, I think they probably will have it back in, back in the office sooner or later. But I can't see it's been back in the office for quite some time. Because they're talking about at the moment people like me, it's going to be at least the beginning of August. But that'll be, they want certain people back in the office then. But I can't see me being back September, October. And there's talk going around, Colleen, um, somebody I know actually, he's been told point blank, he's been working from home now until January next year. No. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, some else I know worse, so this has told me that one on the other day, so on Facebook, so it's just it was unprecedented times, really. It's very, very strange. That's it's why. the strangest times I've ever heard. Yeah, it is really. You think we've all been we've been like this, we've all been around for a few years now, and I've never come across like this in thirty odd years, forty years. I said so. We're that one, so it's just plain bizarre to honestly put it bluntly. So, but but you get the other case that with the hairdressing at the moment too. I don't know how my dad wangled it, but my dad wanted to get his hair cut today. My dad's eighty five, Colleen. And he only just started heading out again on the first time in about six months, basically, because he'd been ill. And then um, he said, like, all the other hairdressers I know, most were doing appointments only. But my dad managed to wank his way into one this morning on the corner of the where they, he lives. I got, got his hair cut straight away. I don't know how he did that. <laughs> Any ideas? How did you do that? I don't know. Did, did, he, did, he, I think did they charge him extra? No. It'll be the dad's child, won't it? They look at him and they'll think, oh, poor guy, he's yeah. haircut. Yeah. <laughs> they probably, they probably took pity on him, Colleen, that's why, right, through his age. That's why they think, oh, he looks vulnerable. That's why, so. And they play up to it as well. Yeah. Oh, we know my dad, he probably will do as well, right? So, that's why. But he said it's just, it's very, very, I'm very, very strange times at the moment, so. I just don't necessarily know what's going on with things at the moment. It's just, I just find it very, very weird. That's why, but it's what it is. What's work been like for you, Clean? Have you been busy in your place here this past couple of days? Yeah, <clears throat> yes, yeah, been very busy and strange as well because you've got to keep the two metre distance at, at all times. And the face mask, you have to wear face mask as well outside, but when you go on the transport, if you don't wear transport, they, they can tell you to get off the bus, but the majority I wear... Face mask. I think I a, lot of that, face a lot of that depends on the buses, really. I don't. Did we tell Claire about it last week with your sister? Yeah, I think I mentioned that. Yeah. yeah, we had a situation with my younger sister last week where she's been getting the buses to work and she's been getting three buses to her job, so I'm just a heck of a lot of trouble. Yes, you've got people getting on the bus with masks on, sitting at the back and then pulling the masks down. Or she'll be sitting in a seat that she's supposed to sit in. Someone will sit in one that's got a sticker on saying you can't sit on it. And they'll turn around and glare at them as if she's in the room. It's just a lot of very stupid people knocking out of this. Um, I'm off next week, Clean, from work, and we're going to go to see my mum and dad next week. I'm going to get his two, his couple of, if we can get down a couple of short train journeys, it's either that or we get one 90 minute bus ride. And I think we're going to get two short train journeys, Clean, because if we've got to set the bus in 90 minutes, me and the man with masks on, we'll both be choked, we'll both get to the end of the journey, and we'll be about passing out. No. That's why, so it's just. Bizarre at the moment. Just bring so. a, just bring some paper with you and just fan yourself because I tell you these, the, even those hand fans, are you know those those little things that you know whirl around. They, they they're called, um, I don't know what they're called, but you just put you just use them in the hand and just uh, you know the breeze just blows on your face. The, they use up battery like no nothing. Oh yeah yeah. The only you do. Thing, it only yeah. lasts for five minutes. That's why I, I bought one like years and years ago, and I thought, oh no, I'll just use a, some paper, and you just use it on the bus, because I tend to find that the buses are really 
really non, you know, they're ventilated, but they're not properly ventilated. This is still hot. You know the engine? Oh, no, it's no. Really hot. People, it's really hot. It's really hot. I hate people getting on buses in the summertime. Yeah. So it feels like, soon if you get up on a bus and it's 30 odd degrees, when you're on the bus, mm. it feels like 50 degrees. And what do you think yeah. longer than that? Yeah. It's too hot, it's too hot because the engine's pumping away. That's why, and the wind isn't there. They push the heat into you. They don't deflect it. it ex yeah, you see, you you got the same experience as I have. It's yeah, yeah. just can't go on the bus without a piece and paper because otherwise it gets really hot. Yeah, that's and you're why. Sitting there like boiling. I'll, I'll be quite happy staying at home until after until after some summer, summer we get back into autumn. When we get back into autumn, and then I'll quite happily go back to work because it's being cooler on the public transport then. So. That's why you have so to get the you have to get the like the strong de you know you have to get good deodorant from Boots. I like the ones from Boots because they stop you from getting sweaty. Oh, that's a good idea, man. Amanda, mm. you give us a good idea there, Clean. We'll go and get some deo massive strong deodorant. As soon as someone comes within two meters on the bus, pssst, pssst, that's a good idea. I've, I've got some spider spray. I've been doing yeah. the same thing. Yeah, Amanda's got the spider spray, pestio, pesto terrors. We do that and Clean yeah. as well. I have to complain, I'll say, sorry, I've got the glasses in a five-year-old child spider. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving us ideas there, Colleen, so we're going to be getting thrown off buses next. Exactly, I know, that's what I was just about to say. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, God, yeah. But are you, are you off tomorrow? Are you, are you, what, so what days have you got off this week, then? Uh, uh, yeah, it's one day, like, tomorrow, yeah, but I've got to... Oh, I've got this. Oh, I've got this weekly well-being group. So oh, cool. hopefully, it's going to build up. I think so. Probably won't have anyone tomorrow, but I still have to go and just uh, be there for the hour. So yeah. the weekly. It started off as. Do you remember? I said I had. I went into the cafe and just had some, some events, but started oh, like yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah, cool. Morning idea. Then it's now well-being because I've done a lot of events regarding well-being. So that's something that. Uh, I have to look at just the well-being because I've done since 2005 a 5k mini marathon for charity so I, I know about health and well-being you know how to prepare for a mini marathon and also I do nature conservation which is really aimed at getting you getting others out in parks to use as an alternative to going to the gym no you can go to the gym I'm not saying don't go to the gym but on the way to the gym rather than get the transport just go through a park and then come back home for a park because at a gym you've got the equipment so with a park you don't really have anything you've got everything you've got showers as well at the gym because sometimes some you know sometimes it's difficult to have a shower at home maybe so a gym is a good way to have a shower, you know, like, because you need one, you need one anyway, like, daily. But um, on the way to the gym, a park is nice to go through. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. No, fair play, fair play. I know we've got no, there's no sign at the moment here when gyms are opening up around here at the moment. So, and I've got, I'm in one at a pure gym that's in for Ashton. But as I've not got a bus pass at the moment, I'm actually going to probably suspend, probably just cancel my account, and then basically I'll rejoin some point in the future. There's two lots of walks, and that's what we're doing, luckily. Because you turn the week Saturday, man, aren't we? We try and go for a good walk somewhere. Yeah. Right, said so. That's why, and then some. We've got that new gym that's up there is when we when it eventually opens again. So you might want to join that. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got a new one there because then, what they did clean doesn't make you laugh. They had it opened up. A, was it a centre centre of well-being they called it, didn't they? Like a massive gym near Ruskaline in February. Then the country went to lockdown a month later, so no, but people only just started going into it, and then it put it shuts temporarily. So. And did you have uh, a, a personal alarm on you? Like um, when you go to the park, it's you know you're on your own. There's hardly anyone around. So do you have one of those personal buzzing alarms where you you can take it out, especially now in the pandemic where they're there's so much happening, chaos uh, No, because they don't go to the park. Crazy. Do you want us to be playing? Where we're going, there's been no trouble. Well, I've got one somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Yeah. I don't use it. Yeah. The only place I go clean when I'm by myself is like, water the turned to Denton today, but that's very, that was only a 10 minute walk each way. It's very safe. I think safe. of alarms going off all the time as well. You wonder if anyone's even going to pay attention if you set the alarm off. Yeah, that's trouble sometimes. It's, 
it's such a funny one nowadays because you hear cases and alarms go off stuff people don't don't pay attention to it he's like it's you wonder like clean and i have to see the timer guys we've gone over sorry guys see you soon bye i'll see you soon